21. Wow, the Lord has been good to us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We welcome you all into the Surefire Life Conference platform this morning. We want to thank God. Today is our Thanksgiving Sunday, Thanksgiving service. So let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you for another beautiful Sunday in your presence. We thank you for the first Sunday in this last month of the year 2021, the first Sunday in the month of December, the fifth day in this month. Lord, we are grateful. We thank you so much for the grace to be alive in the land of the living. Father, we say thank you. We don't take this for granted. Lord, we appreciate you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you for gathering us as your people, as a family, to come and thank you and to praise you this morning. Oh, Lord, we give you glory. We say, let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, as we have gathered this morning, we have gathered unto you and unto you alone. Please take over the service. Holy Spirit, have your way. We have no power of our own. Please lead us. Please guide us. Help us that at the end, Jesus alone will be glorified and our lives will be transformed to the glory and praise of your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord, people of God. Thank you so much for joining in. Okay, so we are going to commence our Thanksgiving service this morning by looking at the, the following scripture. We'll just thank the Lord. We know our theme already, Psalm 34. We're mm. taking it from the book, from Psalm 34, from verse 1, verses 1 through 8. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So before we go into that, because Pastor is the one that's going to really go in and expand on that. Today is our Thanksgiving service. We know the usual way we run. We're going to go into praises and worship and just thank God with a grateful heart. We're going to also mm -hmm. thank the Lord in testimonies and you know what he has done for us. So first of all, mm -hmm. I want to wish everybody, starting by wishing everybody a happy new month. Amen. Amen. Happy new month, everybody. Happy new month. Yes. God has brought Amen. us to the last month in the year Amen. 2021. When month. we started, thank you. It was like, wow, how is this year going to be? But here we are. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ as our theme for the year has been, the year of greater victory. Amen. Amen. So now we are going to praise the Lord. We're going to thank him. He's been very faithful. Let's thank him. I want everybody to join and thank God this minute now. Let's thank him for January, for February, for March, for April, for May, for June, for July, for August, for September, for October, for November. And now here we are, we are in December. Let's open our mouths and thank the Lord. It's not been easy. His grace has kept us. If we look at the world and what is going on around, we will know that God indeed has been grateful to be alive in the almost the second year full of a pandemic, God has been good to us. So let's go ahead and thank the Lord. Just thank the Lord with a grateful heart, with hearts of gratitude, with thanksgiving, with deep praise and understanding to our God. Go ahead and thank the Lord now. Thank him, just reflect and see of the Lord's goodness. That's Psalm 34 says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Our God indeed has been good. We have not just tasted, we have partaken of his goodness. Go ahead and thank him. Oh, Father, we thank you. How can we thank you enough? Ha, ah, Lord, you have been good. You have been awesome. You have been marvelous. You have been mighty. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation of our souls. Thank you for saving us, for making us your own children, for keeping us even in this world. Ah, Lord, you have helped us. You have made us children of light. In spite of all the darkness allowed around, you have kept us. You have helped us. You have shown through us. You have given us victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We say thank you. Thank you for January. Thank you for February, Lord. We thank you for March, for April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and now here we are, we are in December. This is already the fifth day in this month. Thank you, Lord, the first Sunday in this month of December 2021. You are a good God. A thousand tongues is not enough to thank you. It's not enough to sing your praise. Oh, Lord, our Redeemer, we say thank you. We thank you. Father, we say thank you. Let your name be exalted forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. We are still praying, brethren. Let us thank the Lord again for this platform he has set up. 
the Surefire Life Conference platform. God has kept us. He has kept all the families here represented. He has kept all the brethren far and near. People connect from home and abroad, but God has kept every one of us. In spite of everything going on in the world, God has kept us. God has kept us. He has fed us with his word. Every week, his word has not been scarce to us. Go ahead and thank him. Thank him for the man of God he has put in charge of this. Thank him for all the ministers, the workers, the co-laborers in this vineyard. Thank him for all our families. Thank him for as many lives that this ministry reaches out to all around the globe. Let's go ahead and thank God. He has been good to us. Father, we thank you. Thank you so much for the Shore Fire Life Conference platform. We thank you for this platform that you have set up for yourself to preach your word, to teach your word in truth and in spirit. Father, we say thank you. Our Lord, your word has not been scarce to us. You have been teaching us. You've been feeding us daily, weekly. Oh, Lord, we say thank you. Let your name be exalted. For the past one year plus, you have been with us. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for all the workers you have put in the vineyard, doing your work both behind the scenes and on the scene. Father, we say thank you. Let your name be praised in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to also thank the Lord for our families. We all come from one family or the other. Let us thank the Lord. We have not had cause to run helter skelter. God has kept us. He has sustained us. He's our sustainer. Indeed, he's a father to every one of us. Let's go ahead and thank him. Thank him from every, for every family that is represented on this platform. Thank him. He has kept us. He has kept the fathers. He has kept the mothers. He has kept the children. He has kept the in-laws. He has kept everyone. Go ahead and thank the Lord. God, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Our sustainer, our keeper. The one that keeps Israel and that sleeps no slumber. Ah, you have kept us. You have kept us. You have helped us all through this year. You have been our help in ages past and our hope for years to come. Oh, Lord, sufficient has been your mighty hand. We say thank you. We appreciate you. We don't take this for granted, Lord. Let your name be praised. You who has kept us from January till now, we say thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, I also want us to thank the Lord for all the churches represented on earth, all the church of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the one that builds his church. His church will continue to march on. The gates of hell can never prevail against it. Amen. So let us thank the Lord for all the church, the body of Jesus Christ, universal, all over the world, the church in Africa, the world, the church in Asia, the church in Europe, the church in America, everywhere, all over the world, where the gospel of Jesus Christ is preached. Let's thank God for his sustenance, because in spite of all, God has kept his word. He has left a remnant and a seed for himself. Let's go ahead and thank the Lord and pray that God will continue to shine his light all over in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for all the churches, from the ones in Nigeria to the ones in Africa, as a whole South Africa, in Asia, in the Middle East, in Australia, in America, North and South, in Europe, in the UK, everywhere, Lord, we thank you because you have kept a remnant for yourself. Lord, we appreciate you. We thank you. Let your light continue to shine through your churches and let the darkness not be able to comprehend it in the name of Jesus. Let your church going to shine and going to march on. Let the gates of hell not be able to prevail in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary can never be in vain. And we say thank you because by that blood, we are victorious. Thank you so much, Lord. We appreciate you. Let your name be exalted forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Praise the Lord, children of God. We want to just appreciate God for everything, and we say thank you. We, we know that he has received and accepted our thanks this morning, and we are still going to give him more thanks. Amen? So now I want us to, if you have testimonies, of course, everyone I know has, has a testimony. Amen? If you want to share your testimony, you can feel free now, open the lines, and just thank God. Tell us what God has done for you within the time we have, just straight to the point what God has done, what you are testifying to God for. Praise the Lord. I want to start. Let me start. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and that of my entire family. God has been good to us. God has been awesome. He has been awesome. His ways are actually past finding out. If I think how he has kept us and led us through the years, and even this year in particular, we have seen his outstretched hand manifest mightily. His righteous hand his righteous right hand that doeth valiantly has given us the victory in all areas of life. And I want to return all the glory and all the honor and all the adoration to him. Let his name be exalted forevermore. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I was expecting. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord of oh my soul. I never forget his love. I never forget his gift. Oh, all my heart, I will praise the living God. My heart full of joy, I will praise his holy name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It has been amazing Hallelujah. day. It has been amazing time. I have every reason to thank God so much for what he has done in my life in the life of my family, and for bringing us this far. Yeah. From January, like you have counted, when it started, it seems as if it will never have any way. We will not even see February. But the God of amazing victory has given us victory. Amen. He has brought us this far. He has kept us in good health. No matter the storm, he helped us to withstand the storm. It opened our spiritual eyes to see that there will always be an end to the storm. So I thank him so much. I thank him for what he has done. Personally, I cannot recount all, but the one that I experience was, I don't know, the, the night, two nights ago, I was sleeping. By the, I woke up exactly 2.30. I've never felt like that. My heart was pounding. I mean, pounding, like shaking. I, and I could, everywhere in me was disorganized, destabilized. I, I tried to cry, I couldn't, I tried. <laughs> I feel so, I stood up, I walked from my bedroom to the kitchen. I said, ah, my heart is breaking, God, what, what? I started worrying, I started being so confused. I said, it is then I walk to my parlor and I lie down. I could, I, I was half scared. I said, this is heart attack that I'm going to have, all I could remember was Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Until I tried to breathe, but finally I remember to pray. I said, God, I know you do not have what is sent me. I, whatever is in my heart, I may not know, I cannot express. I poured out my heart to God from that time till morning, and before I could open my eyes, I could stop praying. I felt the peace of God, the peace that I know nobody can give to me except that of God. So I thank God for his helping us to always understand that he is there for us. He will Amen. answer us whenever Amen. we come to him with a heart Amen. full of joy. So thank you, God's people. Thank Thanks. God so much. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done in our life. Thank May you, we Lord. ever live to say thank you for your Amen. goodness and grace upon us. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Any other, what do you want? Any other person? Who else wants to go? The Bible says in Psalm 92, verse 1, it says, it is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises unto the name of the Most High. So that's why we're doing this. It's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. Amen. Who next? Amen. So, uh, good morning. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. good morning, everyone. Okay, so basically, I, you know, when you get to December, suddenly, uh, as you look at the, as the day begins, so my birthday is in December, as, as you, you know, just think of how the year has been yesterday while I was having these um, thoughts, I was just reflecting on the year 
And like I shared last Sunday, that there's been many times that God has really showed up for me in awkward situations that on a normal day, it couldn't have been any other way other than, you know, it's just clear that it's God that showed up for me. And then yesterday, I was just looking through the many, many times I could have been trapped, I could have been embarrassed, I could have been disgraced, I could have been put in shame. And it just shows up, shows up, making me know. So the whole year has been, it's been very faithful. And I take one message from what has always happened, the fact that I can trust him, I can depend on him, I can look onto him. And I take that very seriously. So my thanksgiving today is to tell God, um, Father, thank you for showing me faithfulness. Thank you for revealing yourself to me in a whole new way. Thank you for the words that have come through this platform to encourage my heart, to strengthen me, to challenge me to be a better believer, you know, one that doesn't just profess it, but carries the very nature of God in, in my dealings, even upon the earth. And I'm super, super grateful for that. To him be all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Super grateful. Yeah, I like that. Thank you, Lord. One more. I think one more at least can go. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, brother. Yes. Uh, I will always uh, find it uh, a good thing to thank God because uh, in my own life, I personally, I know what uh, I've actually gained from God. In the last few months that I've joined this platform, I know what God has done in my life. And uh, I am a testimony to that. So anytime, any moment, I will always have the grace to thank God for what he has done in my life. Because like I've always said in this platform, I do not know how my life would have looked like if the word of God did not come to my life at the time that he came. I would like to say that the devil actually messed up my life for so many years. He has messed up my life. But because of the word of God now, I stand a better chance and a good chance to recover myself spiritually Amen. and to be aware of my spiritual standing with God. So nothing is more than that, that today. I am now a child of God, filled with the Holy Spirit. And sometimes uh, uh, from, from March to today, following the word of God on weekly basis, Sundays and, and Wednesdays, I have not seen as being a normal routine. It's a spiritual journey to me. It's a spiritual assignment that I must make sure that I take part into it. And I really thank God for what God has done in my life. And he will surely do more in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for those, those testimonies. Is there anybody that wants to add their voice before we wrap up this session? Okay. Praise the Lord. I believe God has heard us. He has accepted our thanks and all the glory be to his holy name. All that the enemy has meant for evil, God has turned them around for good. And we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Daddy. All right. So we're going to just pray now before we go into the next session. Father, we just thank you for all the testimonies you've given to us as your children. We thank you for how you have helped us. We've not even been able to say the half of what you have done. But Lord, the little we have said before your children, the little we have testified before you, we say, please accept them and let all the glory be yours in the name of Jesus. Let these testimonies even bring forth more testimonies in the name of Jesus. We seal all the testimonies with the blood of Jesus. And we say, have your way. Let everyone, when we gather like this again, even in the new year, have cause to give even greater testimonies to the glory and praise of your Holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. So now we're going to move to the next session. I think our pastor is going to take over that session. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, we thank God. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for those testimonies. Yes, and uh, I think I want to start also by thanking God. You know, testifying to the goodness of the Lord for what the Lord has done uh, with all that you have shared. Well, let me start by just affirming the testimonies that uh, many of you have shared. 
Um, I think one word that came through is that when we put our trust in God, his faithfulness will continue to show up for us and we will never be put to shame. And so Psalm 25, Psalm 25 was what just came to my mind when the Sister Comfort was testifying, Brother Dara, everybody, it just kept running through. Psalm 25, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Oh my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph over me. I think the Lord has indeed shown his faithfulness, proven uh, his word throughout this year. He has not allowed us to be put to shame. And the Lord will never allow any of his children to be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will continue to show up for us. So, the Lord, uh, my big testimony is uh, again around the health that God has given us. There have been many times this year when it had looked like, uh, I remember um, the month of July, there was a time where I personally wasn't feeling too well, Brother Dara wasn't feeling too well, all that but we just shared and continue to encourage ourselves and pray to the Lord and the Lord healed us. The Lord kept us alive, kept us healthy, you know, throughout this year. The Lord has been good in his provisions. Ah, then in his teaching, teaching us is true. Oh, we just give God thanks. In helping us through with objects, our programs, our plans, the Lord has really been helping us. And we thank God for all this that the Lord has done for us. I know there are still things remaining to be done. There are still um, um, areas that will continue to seek and ask for his help. And that's the exciting thing about this, our God, you know, because he never stops helping us. And our lives does not come to that point where he's no more exciting. You know, you just kind of feel like, oh, okay, what's the need? There is always something to look unto the Lord for. And he has never failed us. He will never disappoint us. He will continue to meet all our needs in Jesus' name. So I thank God for my wife. It's been such a great support. I thank God for my children. I thank God for everyone that connects upon this platform. Uh, my sister, Comfort, who's been uh, strong here with us, her family, uh, brother Dara, uh, uh, brother Sonny, oh joy, my daughter is here, uh, Sister Gertrude is not here with us today, Sister Blessing is here, all the people who have been with us throughout this year, I, I think we can all say that the Lord has fed us, the Lord has taught us by his spirit. And this we don't take for granted. So we say, God who has helped us to come to this point in this year, 2021, to him be all glory, all honor, all power, all praise, all majesty forever and ever in the mighty name of Jesus. To crown it all, my own testimony as I shared with, uh, okay, my wife is aware and my sister, Sister Comfort, um, God put in the heart of another pastor to invite me to come and speak on this same life that we have been teaching without him even knowing about uh, the book or, that uh, I wrote. So it was just yesterday I was telling him, okay, in fact, his texts, the, the texts of their conference is the exact text that is in the introduction of that, our mini book, uh, who is a Christian, who is a Christian. So the, uh, yeah, so yesterday I then told him to look at 
that book. I sent him the electronic copy and he was amazed. He said, he didn't know that God just put it in his spirit that he should invite me to come and speak on the theme, the conference that they have, divine life, uh, divine nature, rather divine nature. I, and you know, we just share abundant life, right? So, and we're also continuing with abundant life as our main theme next year. Glory be to God. So there are testimonies. God, whatever you think is remaining in your life this year, just commit it to God. I think we all of us, we have seen that God is faithful. We have seen that God is good. Oh, taste and see that God is good. You got to taste it to see it. So let us continue to put our trust in him. So with that, Psalm 34, verses 1 to 8, which is verse 8 is the old taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 34 from verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear it, shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Verse 8, our last verse, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. So the psalmist here said, I will bless the Lord. And I said, my Bible has captions or headlines of uh, some chapters. And this one says, a psalm of David. When he, he disguised himself before Abimelech, who drove him and he departed. And God made a way for him. And he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord. I will be, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So brother, brothers and sisters, this December, this is our exercise, our assignment. We must continually just take that time for yourself. This is our month of praise and thanksgiving to God. So take a look at yourself. Make out your own thanks and praise plan. And also let your thanks and praise go beyond. You see, everything we do, you can always connect. The life of a Christian is actually simple, simpler than we think. When you have been able to define the life of a Christian well, you see that from every angle you start, you come to about the same thing. When we were talking about worship, thanksgiving, praise, that personal time you spend with God. Here we are, our month of praise and thanksgiving. And then we came to the point that you have to be moved by your a heart of appreciation of God to want to do something, not just want to, to do something, give something because of God. The same. Now we're talking about Thanksgiving. You must be able to go beyond just your word of mouth and, uh, and, and, and appreciation, which is good, very good, which you must do. Every day of this month, you must have a space for God to just thank you, make out time. And as I said, that we should be adding these things. Don't, don't, when we finish one month, you drop down. Then another one, you start new one. No, carry this and add. 
I believe you're still doing your 30 minutes personal worship daily. If you cannot do daily, uh, at least a good number of times in the week, but I really would ask that you move yourself to being able to do 30 minutes personal time of communication with God as your worship. And so in that time now, in this month of December, give time to just thank God. Let's just make that thanks to God. Just deeply reflect on the goodness of God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. That's verse eight. So verse one says, I will bless the Lord at all times, at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Job said, Lo, though he slay me, yet I will praise him. I will praise him. This is the power that frustrates our enemies and particularly the enemy of devil. Oh, your praise and your thanksgiving frustrate him. So the key message I want to tell us today is, number one, make space for praise and thanksgiving throughout this month. Number two is this, do not only praise God when it is good. Remember to use praise to frustrate your enemy, our enemies, frustrate with praise and thanksgiving. So that's why the Bible says, in all things, give thanks. In all things. If you're a Christian, know that God is with you, as Sister Comfort shared. So when you are thanking God, the Bible says, for this is the will of God concerning you. It means that in that thing, we're not saying it's God that is doing it, because as you discover, God was not the one who did all the bad things to Job, right? But God was the one who permitted it. That's what this scripture is talking about. So when you come to this place of in all things give thanks, you have truly started being a Christian. Truly started being one who knows that God is with me. That every time and no matter what happens, if God allowed it, God wants to bring out glory out of it. If God allowed it, God wants to enjoy greater praise out of it. If God allowed it, God is bringing mighty miracles through it. So this is what we must do in this month of December. Our month of praise and thanksgiving. Thanksgiving continually in whatever situation, pleasant situation, unpleasant situation, will let us give him, give God thanks. And then finally, reflecting on our plans for the year, because this session was meant for us to reflect on our plans for the year. So as individuals, we have gone through a lot. We've been taught a lot. So I just want you again to reflect because we're going to share words of prayer. And uh, Sister Comfort will then lead us according to the plan to pray for the remaining days of 2021. We pray for protection, uh, meeting our plans, but we have to reflect on that plan. So let's just take a few minutes and reflect how has the year been for you? What have you set out to do? How many of those have you accomplished? What is still remaining? You must be clear of what is remaining, brothers and sisters. You know, I keep challenge us and say it is in the doing. It is not in assumption. It is not in coming to, we talk like this, and then you go back and do nothing. It is that little incremental steps that we take that will continue to grow and grow and increase and enlarge and then accumulate into enlargement. 
So two minutes, just for one minute, reflect because we're not going to be staying it out. Reflect what were your plans or are your plans for the year? What has come through? What is still remaining? What is still remaining? That's what we want to take to the Lord. And then Sister Comfort will take over and lead us in the prayer for the remaining days of this year and then for direction for the year 2022. If you have reflected on it now, I want us to pray together. If you have reflected on it, at least you must have like three things that you can clearly say, oh, these three things, it's never too late. You can still accomplish them. If it is so big that it can't happen this year, break it into some aspect that you must do something about. What are you desiring of the Lord? This is what we're talking about, that you want to put before God. Let us now go ahead and put that thing before God. Tell him very simply, Lord, here are my desires. He says he will grant the desires of our heart. Lord, here are my own desires. My father, help me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have committed our plans to the Lord. Please write these things down. Let it not just be in your head because it will soon fade away. Write it down and daily as we go through this month, those are the things we'll be doing, reflecting on, uh, 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 giving thanks and praise to God, reflecting on whatever is outstanding of your plans and desires and then the direction for 2022. So at this point, we call on our sister uh, uh, Comfort to take over. The Almighty God fulfill all your desires and all your plans in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Comfort. Over yes, my brother. Thank you so much. God, yeah. people, shall we pray? Let's bow our head in prayer. Sweet hours of prayer. Sweet hours of prayer. Of prayer. That calls me from the world of sin and beat me to my father's throne where all my wants and wishes known. In season of distress and grave, my soul has often found relief and does escape the tempestness by climbing. Sweet arrows, prayers, so merciful, our loving Heavenly Father. Jehovah, God of hosts, the creator of the heaven and earth, the God whose farm are us your children. Jesus Christ, your son said, you are a gardener, a farm owner who cared and nurtured your farm so much. God, we have every reason to say thank you. Thank you, God. We saw the true vine, Jesus Christ, that you planted and you nurtured. You overcome the world. He conquered everything. He reconciled us with his blood to you. He made this perfect union between 
your children on earth and you, our heavenly Father. God, we say thank you so much. We have every reason to say thank you, God. You make this possible. It is because of this perfect arrangement of Jesus Christ, the mediator of the new covenant. We can come to you. We can understand your plan for us. Christ Jesus make it so easy that we do not undermine, do not undervalue who we are. He help us to see that we are your children, that you love us so much, that your grace for us is without limits. And it is this grace that has sustained us. Father, we say thank you. Our almighty Father, we say thank you. Thank you for bringing us this far. Thank you for keeping us safe the whole of the year 2021 that was full of wonderful things, things that make our hearts melt, things that make us people think that they, their life may not continue. But in you, Father, you help us to see your grace. You help us to see your love. You help us to see your hands. God, we leave our plan in your hands. Yes. Like you have taught us that we need to organize. Jesus said, if we want to build a house, we must sit down, plan what it will cost. You have also helped us to see we need to plan our future. Leave it into your hands. Then you will do it for us. God, we know there is nothing more important than building a good relationship with you. If we build a relationship with you, your word said you will guide our path. If we trust in you with all our hearts, you will guide our path. You will make our path straight. Father, that is our plan. Help us to put our utmost trust in you so that our plan will be established. Father, you want us to communicate with you. We cannot talk with you. We cannot communicate with you without your Holy Spirit. Father, please, in this our spiritual journey, help us not to slack back. Help us not to fall away from our journey. May we remain focused so that your Holy Spirit, the helper, the comforter, the spirit of truth would help us to remain focused in your word. Our flesh will be dampened. We would, it would deaden our flesh because the flesh does not wish us well. The flesh means death. It is only spirit that gives life. It is only that spirit that will help us to communicate with you. Father, our plan is for us to continue to bless us with your Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts, our mind with your Holy Spirit so that our thinking will be towards you. Our thinking will be what bring glory to your holy name. Our heart will always be joyful and thankful and grateful. We will remember to thank you for what you have done in our life. We will be able to show appreciation for the gifts of life that you have given us. And we will use it in praising your name. Above all, Father, our relationship with your son, Jesus Christ, our savior, our redeemer, our comforter, help us to surrender to Christ Jesus. Because if we surrender to him, he said, our load will be made light, our burden will be easy. Christ is there to walk with us, to guide us. Father, help us to walk with him. If we walk with him, he knows he will make 
all our requests, our desire, he will make us to establish them. Father, our businesses, Father, our family. Yes, you are the one who started the family. The wicked ones is out to destroy the family so that we will not remain focused in worshiping you. God, we beg that may you both and strengthen our family. Amen. Our children, may you remove the rebellious spirit in them. Amen. May you put your spirit of peace, spirit of love, spirit of obedience, spirit of gratefulness, May our children know what it means to be thankful. Give them thankful hearts. If they have a thankful heart, they will know that you are their father. And you are the one who had given them grace to survive and to live a life that will always bring glory and honor unto your holy name. Our father, if we have a happy family, we will praise you with a happy heart. That is why we establish our family, establish our children, establish our business. Father, your church, your church, that Jesus Christ, your son, bought with his precious blood. Wherever they are, Father, we build them up. Thank you, God. When we remember what Christ, the letter he sent to the church in Asia Minor, he was able to see their weaknesses. Father, you know, different people have different problems. You understand different situations. Father, I thank you that you will find whatever trace of good thing in us, in your church, to build them up to blow it into a burning fire so that your Holy Spirit will take control of your church. Wherever they may be, wherever they may are, may you bless them. May you sanctify them. May you glorify them. May you continue to establish them so that they will continue to serve you until your kingdom come, until your will is done on earth as it is done in heaven our merciful and our kind God. For the reason that you have brought us this far, you have a purpose for us. You have a plan for us. May your plan be established in our life. May your purpose be established like your servant Job said. He said, nothing can stop your plan. Nothing can stop your purpose. You are able to do everything and you are able to do all things. God, we know you have heard our prayers. We know you have seen our hearts. You know what we need, but we lack them. You will do to your children because you are a God of grace. You are a God of abundant life, abundant blessing. Saturate your children with your blessing. We come Amen. before you, God, in the name of your Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you for that. So, Brother, who now come on to lead us in announcement and closing. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> that was that was a powerful, that was a powerful one. Um, there are just a few announcements that I want to share. Um, first off, is the fact that, like as has always said in the last uh, some time, I have always said a few things. One of them is that um, we should we should never never drop our guard. You know, um, if you need to go over those things again, for instance, if you need to go listen to those video like um, understanding the times, it said quite a lot of things that. Um, are beginning to unfold gradually. And as a people who, are, who, who have an understanding of the times, uh, it is only wise that we prepare accordingly, position ourselves correctly, and then you know, just stay in that space where we, we, our trust is in God and we're working with the things that he has said. And then um, this is our month of thanksgiving. So uh, beyond what we have done today, um, I encourage every one of us to go ahead. Let's take that scripture, Psalm 34, verse 1 to 8. And every other scripture has a lot to in your heart. 
each day, let's devote a time to say, okay, God, you did this for me. I'm going to thank you for this. Let's turn this whole month as a month of thanksgiving. Let's pick up things that we share each day, each day, and just appreciate God. You know that when we, uh, uh, a grateful heart gets more. That's, that's the word of Pastor God. A grateful heart gets more. So as we appreciate God for what is done, we have uh, automatically applied for more. Amen. You know, and I believe that God will do amazing things. Again, let's, we will reshare that video on the Sunday yeah. time. Let's take it up. Let's move with it. Let's uh, apply ourselves on that. Then on Wednesday, we're going to be having a prayer, 6 p.m. Um, come prepared, come ready. Uh, God is going to be with us. And then uh, additional information will come. Um, activities for the months and the weeks that will follow leading up to Christmas. Um, more information will come our way. Uh, let's just keep that spirit up and continue to do as we have been instructed by the servant of God. Uh, with that being said, I'd like us to share the grace uh, together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says, forever. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Have a beautiful week. Amen. So, everyone, enjoy abundant life and continue to enjoy the praise and thanksgiving in the presence of God and the songs of thanksgiving, the songs of joy fill your life and your family. Thank so you. this is where we say bye-bye and God bless you.